Hello, let me take you to a tour in my warehouse. The way it is, I don't make a special preparation to impress you. This is the way how my warehouse look every day of the year. So, the oriental rug laid on the vacuum floor and I'm opening this valve. I opening the valve so all the liquid all the blended minerals from the Dead Sea will come from the tank on the right side of the screen. Everything will go on the rug, flood the rug completely, completely, and then the vacuum, then it's located in the other bay, will vacuum everything through those pipes and everything will fall down to the pen. Let me explain to you about this tube. So, everything then it's in the bottom of the pen will vacuum, will pump out to the sewage. On the way to the sewage, I want to see what it's in the rug. So everything will go through these pipes here and it will show me what is under the rug when the vacuum extract everything. And this is how it works. The PP will be here, and this one will probably will be divided by two. One is all the soap, the detergent, the enzyme, the deodorize. It will be for me here on the top, and here it's still going to be some PP. So everything will go from here, going through the tube, go to the sewage. And again, one more cycle, one more cycle, one more cycle. This rug will take approximately four to six hours of cleaning to remove it. So when I finish the cleaning process, this tube, it have to be clear, clear. The same water going from the top, the same things pump through here out to the sewage. And this cleaning process repeats itself again and again and again and again. In the beginning, I'm using the top container, then it contains a different minerals. So this is, will hold the color, so the color will never run. It's very, very important, because this is a Persian rug, and you don't want the, the red will move to the white. So it, the white will become like a pinkish. You don't want it. You want to clean the fiber all the way through, make it clear, Remove all the cleaning product that used on this rug in the last 80 years, at least. This rug is at least 80 years old. You see by the design, then it's a different design. So, everything will go through the rug, go to the sewage naturally. And after I finish completely cleaning it, remove all the dirt, the pee, -pee and everything, then I'm using the bottom tank, then it contains a clean high quality the Dead Sea cleaner so this is will kill any bacteria that's left inside the foundation of the rug will kill it permanently this is how I can provide to my customers a hundred percent no trace of any odor any none because my cleaning product it is odor free completely. That's it. And it's eatable. So this is what it's so special. So after everything is done here, cleaning and this one is doing everything fully automatically. I build it and everything is by this one. This is the electric box that I build specifically to do what I want. So, this is how it's work. This is what I accomplish. I build it myself because it's nothing like this in the market and it's controlled by the computer. And everybody asks me if I'm engineer and I answer, no, I didn't even finish high school and I hate school. So, don't tell it to your kids. So, this is what I build 
and it's working completely automatically. You look at all my pictures in the warehouse. I was a wildlife photographer. I published the, bo the book Desert Birds of Israel in 1986 in Israel. And I did some exhibition here in Florida. So I'm a wildlife photographer, basically. This is my original business. And I invented the pet pee, -pee. And the pet pee, pee this is what pay for my kids college. Thank you very much for watching Pet PP. Let's start the cleaning process and I will show you step by step. On the carpet